Do you ever stop and look around and wonder, how did I get here knowing well enough that I feel called to such a different life? This has been weighing heavy on my heart and soul lately as I continue to explore what is next for me. If you are new here, I'm Amanda, a single, childless, 40-something-year-old living in Seattle with my dog Baker and my cat Louie. I make videos about my life as an artist and multifaceted creative, and my experience going through a rare cancer diagnosis as I continue treatment for the next year and a half. I've always been called to a slower way of life, even when I find myself in the middle of a city that is loud and full of noise. I know my heart belongs on land. It's hard to speak on this openly and honestly when there is so much in my life I love and I'm grateful for. It's also hard to speak about this with everything going on in the world right now. I never want to come across as ungrateful for what I have or where I'm at because I truly am. I also think it's okay to still think about where you want to go in your own life. This past weekend, I drove to the other side of the mountains to speak at an event. As I drove the hour and a half drive, I felt my whole body release and expand. I felt like I could breathe deeper. I often forget how much the urban life takes a toll on my sensitive body. The everyday hustle and bustle, I honestly just don't think any of us were built for. There is a reason I have found myself serendipitously living on two separate farms over the last 14 years. I know it's a life my authentic self craves. I say this even as I sit at my kitchen table staring at the most awe-inspiring view of the Puget Sound and the Olympic Mountains. I can both love this and know I belong somewhere else. But currently, I'm in no place to move. I just came out of something so traumatic and hard, and I need a moment to find my footing again and feel like I've caught up on my life. Instead, I'm finding ways to bring more of that life I seek and crave into the world I've created here Hello, and now. Hello, Kitty Cat. Oh, how blessed are we? which begins with finishing these home projects I have been working on for some time now. My goal the whole time with this area was to build a banquette seating with storage and a place where I could put Louis's food so that Baker couldn't get it and eat it. Since I got rid of my desk, I sit here and work a lot too. I am starting a new home project today. It is my banquette seating right there. Sorry, Louis' tail's always in the way. By the way, I get several comments about the fact that my cat is on the counter and I just wanted to reiterate, I don't love it either, but I have a dog who eats my cat's food if it's on the ground. This is partly why I am uh, making this banquette seating because it's gonna have a little space for Louis to go inside and eat and hopefully get him off the counter. I'm constantly cleaning my counter. Thank you very much. It's not ideal, but it is just what it is.
gonna build this section on this wall first. The other one to meet it, it's hard to explain. It's in my head. I'm really hoping to not have to take the baseboard off because I just don't want to, but I think I'm going to have to in the end. Actually, maybe I won't. I have an idea. Okay, I'll get back to you on that one. I gotta put on some warmer, warmer clothes because it is freezing outside all of a sudden. So I have to get ready for an install tomorrow for an art installation. So I am going to be working on that today as well. I feel like I'm like creative, creatively in a little bit of like, not, yeah, kind of a slump. When I get this way, I feel like the best way for me to get out of it is when I focus on a different creative task for a little bit. It doesn't have anything to do with work. That's why I'm gonna build this bench seating, hopefully. I think I have enough supplies for this one. And I also feel like I have to just do things when I feel inspired to do them. Otherwise, I'll just sit on them forever. Uh, okay, you're fine. I love you so much. I love you. Go lay down, take a nap. I gotta go work. You're fine. I promise you. I think part of me trying to live more in alignment with the life that I want to be living is intentionally slowing down. I have a tendency to busy myself with all sorts of work things so that I have no time to slow down. And I think part of that is just a trauma response and something I learned through various points in my life and people. My ideal life is just really slow and um, intentional. Part of me doing more of this is giving myself a little bit more time to have creative fluidity and, and, and ease and flow. And so I'm not just like back to back to back. And so for the next two months are going to be really, really busy. And it is always that way. I feel like we all complain about that nonstop. <laughs> and I don't want it to be that way. I have things in my schedule that I have to attend to. In between those responsibilities, I'm going to be really trying to carve out more time for myself so that A, I can finish some of these projects that I'm just really, really wanting to finish, but I haven't felt like I've had the time to do so. And also because I just want time to be more, to be still and to just be in my life if that makes sense. And the holidays go by so fast. And then it's just, it's January and it's gloom, <laughs> gloomy. And then the five months until summer feels like it's moving by at a slug's pace. Today, I'm just giving myself a little bit of freedom, even though I have a lot of work to do. I know that if I don't do this, then I won't be able to focus on much of anything. So I'm just gonna build this base so that I can focus on other work stuff too. I have been dragging my feet on this project because that is what I do when it's something I've never done before and although I would love to get into bigger builds, it's still intimidating to me. It's really motivating for me when I tackle my fears though. And this build has been something I have been afraid of. I can be really impatient when it comes to making things and usually just build following my intuition. However, some things need to be structurally sound so I did have to refer to some blogs on how to build a DIY banquette seating, which I actually found incredibly helpful and I learned a few new things along the way. This one part of the bench took me almost the full day and I didn't end up getting as much work done as I had hoped, but I was pretty proud of myself in the end because I got a big part of this done and it has been on my project list for
quite some time now. I really love how this not only serves a purpose for me, but also give Louie his own little place to hang out, eat, and sleep if he wants. I plan on putting a bed in the other half so Mr. Lewis can have just the most amazing quiet place to rest. Louie, that's where Lulu's food's gonna go, huh? Then Louie has a little hole to get in and get his food, which will be kept. Oh, whoops. Okay, which will be kept in here. And then I'm gonna build the other half coming off this this way. So I still need to add all of the details. Um, I'm gonna add trim around it. I'm going to paint it some color. Um, but that'll have to wait because I have to work. <laughs> dream of having an old home on land where I can tackle more projects like this but for now I am so grateful that I get to be here in this space and I have the freedom to make it the home I long for.
thank you so much for watching and if you like this video i hope you will subscribe and i'll see you next time